Hey guys, this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com and in this video I'll show you how to set up a template in Controller Editor so that we can use our machine pads to control knobs in our software. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're coming out with several new machine videos every week and a bunch of other stuff as well. Alright, so let's get started. So I've started up Controller Editor, plugged in my machine, and set the machine to MIDI mode, which on the micro you can do by pressing Shift and the F1 button. And I'm not sure if it's different with other models or not, but it should be relatively easy to figure out if it's not the same. So the next thing we want to do is create a new template and you can go to the edit menu and just select the new option to do that it's pretty simple and I'm going to go to the fifth page because you know the page one starts at MIDI, MIDI note C negative one which is just really low so I'm just gonna go to a note range that's a little more usable to demonstrate how this all works there are a ton of variations on the technique I'm going to show you today that could be implemented very easily, but for today I'm just going to have it set up so that each of our machine pads triggers a MIDI note, and then we're also going to use the velocity from that pad to control a knob in our synthesizer. And because we're already going to be using the velocity to control a knob, uh, I'm not going to want it to control the volume of her sound like it would by default. So to change that, you can simply go to the Assign page of our controller editor and in the Hit tab, uh, choose the Velocity section minimum value and set it to 127 and that'll change it for our currently selected pad so we can select our pads one by one and drag the minimum value up to 127 but you can also select a pad and then hold down the shift key and select the top pad here and it'll select them all at once and then we can just drag up our value one time instead of setting it 16 times save ourselves a bit of effort and energy so each of these pads will now send a maximum velocity value every time it gets pressed. Next we can go into the press tab of the assign page and we're going to select the type of press data to control change and again we can set all of these at once by selecting all of our pads at the same time. So now we're going to have these pads send out uh, control change MIDI values um, dependent on their velocity. And we're going to set them all to have the same number. So this means that all of these pads are going to control the same MIDI knob. So whenever we press a note, um, we'll be able to play back that MIDI note and then have the same MIDI knob turned um, dependent on the depth of the velocity. Alright, so we can close controller editor and I'm going to use an instance of Massive as an example here. And once we've loaded up Massive, you can double click on the icon here and look at the interface. And I'm just going to load up a preset and we can set any of these knobs to be controlled to our pad by right clicking and selecting the MIDI learn option. So first I'll just play back this sound um, like at its normal value. And now let's control the uh, cutoff knob uh, using the velocity of our pads. So as you can hear, um, it's 
an aftertouch velocity that we're getting. So once we've pressed the note, I can um, continue to use the pad to get some more express expressiveness out of our synthesizer sound, which is pretty great. And it has a lot of different interactions uh, depending on how you want to set it up. And like, so for example, like a really interesting way to get some good like FX sounds is to use a patch with a comb filter and modulate the pitch of the comb filter. And obviously modulating some knobs is going to give you a better effect than others. Alright, so that's how you can use a template to control your knobs using your MIDI pads and machine. Uh, there's a lot of different variations you could do on this. You could get rid of uh, sending the MIDI notes all together and use the 16 pads to control 16 knobs, which is probably not very exciting for those of you with a bigger piece of gear out there, but on the, on the micro it's pretty useful. And yeah, I mean the, the different stuff you could come up with is pretty much infinite depending on what you want to do and how you want to do it. All right, so this is Salamander Anagram with MachineSkills.com. I hope you liked this tutorial. If you did, please check out our website. And I'll be back with another machine tutorial next week.